Hi everyone! Today we wanted to show you how we made this card. We wanted to show you don't need a lot of crafting supplies to make some handmade special cards for your loved ones. Now usually you would use a background stamp to create this effect, but lately we've jumped on board the colouring craze and found that a lot of adult colouring books have these repetitive background images. So you want to pick one out that you like and attach it to a flat surface. We we'll use some masking tape and this will help the image to dry flat. You then want to take some watercolours. Um, you could use markers and colouring pencils, in which case you don't need to tape down the edges. So start off by brushing some clean water. This will help the colours run and mix nicely together. You then want to add, start adding your colours. You don't have to be too precise at this point. Um, you can use a brush to mix and ma manipulate the colour according to where you want it to go. So as you can see, the paper site is starting to bubble and that is absolutely fine. Don't worry about it, it will dry flat because we've taped the edges. So once your background piece is completely dry, you can then trim off the edges. We then use some self-adhesive foam sheet which we're going to stick the background to, and this will help to keep it flat and give the card some dimension. You then want to see if the piece needs to be trimmed further. I let the top and bottom hang off um, because I wanted to trim that up later. And I'm now going to take some adhesive. You could use some double sided sticky tape, which is basically what this is in my hand. Place it on the card base and then you want to trim off the edges. So um, I wanted to put a sentiment on this card and I'm just seeing which colour would pop against this background. I then cut out a long small piece. So before I add my sentiment, I just wanted to finish off the edges a bit more. Um, so I'm going to take some clear embossing ink and I'm just running the pad along the edges and you could also mask the edges and it will give you a cleaner line or use sticker strips here. But I'm going to add the embossing ink and then I'm going to put some embossing powder in gold and heat set this.
I then chose this someone special stamp and I'm going to ink it up again with the clear embossing ink however I don't want the image of the owl so I'm going to try and get the embossing ink on the sentiment except the owl and then again you want to add the powder and heat set it I then trimmed off some of the banner and used some double sided foam tape to stick this down onto the card. Again this would give this would give it a bit more uh, dimension to the card so it doesn't look flat. If you don't want to invest in the tools for embossing, you could always use these fun 3D stickers which you can get at most craft stores and some grocery stores as well. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope we've inspired you to create some fun cards with some loved ones. And thank you for watching. If you want to see more creative ideas, check out our Instagram and we'll leave the link in the description below.